Thank you for tuning in to UWG Unscripted. I'm Raven Mackey. Joining us today is our very special guest, Garrett Bell, the artist. For those of you who don't know, Garrett is a senior here at the University of West Georgia with the hopes of graduating in spring 2014. As the name implies, he's a man of very many talents. Garrett, thank you so much for joining me today and fitting me in your busy schedule. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm great. I'm alive. I can't help but be great since I'm alive. Okay. So, who exactly gave you the name, the artist? At UTV, the head of the station, Miss Barnes, she gave me the name because I have a show coming next semester to the TV station called The Artist. So, I became the artist because I'm the host. So. And your TV show, is it going to be you and your, your artistic endeavors or is it going to be you and other people or just other people? Um, I'm trying to get everybody involved. I don't want it to be centered around me because that's... That would just be my show. So I'm trying to spotlight artists around campus because I feel like they need their shine too, you know? Because there's a lot of people on campus mm. that are artists that nobody knows about. So I'm trying to spotlight their lives. I guess so you say. your name is the artist. So what exactly makes you an artist? Um, I think everybody is an artist in their own way. Everybody does certain things that are artistic. To, in, in my eyes, personally, mm -hmm. not everybody thinks that, but I feel like everybody's an artist. And like what you do in life, depending on if it's, I don't know, writing your name in cursive really good or something like that. That's your art. Like what you what you specialize in, that is your art, no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. So that's what art is. So, which outlet is your absolute favorite? I would have to say. Music is my favorite outlet because music allows me to really express myself as good as I can, you know, because a lot of people don't understand me. And music, I feel like, is the only way that I can get people to understand me. And also it allows me to do my real true love, which is videography and photography. Like, it allows me to combine all of these together. So, do you classify your music, like, as rap or are you a singer or are you... Um Poetic, maybe like Tupac was? Never compare me to Tupac because I'm not on that level. But um, as far as my music is concerned, I feel like I feel like I really just talk. That's all I really do. I just talk, and then it just happens to rhyme, and then there's a beat behind it. That's so it's kind of like rap, just a little bit. I would consider my music as ranting over a beat. <laughs> over a beat. That's all it is. Just ranting. And how, I guess, do you rant? Like, do you uh, do you write down your lyrics, or do you just free free? Uh, what is it called? Free verse, or? It really depends on what the rant is about. If it's about a girl, I could probably rant all day about a girl. But um, depending on whatever else, whatever I'm talking about, it may I need to I need to write down certain things because I can't remember everything. Like you know, mm -hmm. you have a whole bunch of stuff going on in your head. You can't remember everything, so sometimes I need to write it down. But like I said, if I'm ranting about a female, yeah, I could freestyle an entire mixtape about a female. And who exactly is your biggest inspiration for your music or for any type of art that you do? Um, I feel like as I have a lot of inspirations, like. Overall, everything is my inspiration. Like, I can get inspiration from anything, but um, I would say God is my, my biggest inspiration because I feel like he gave me the talent, so I should use it. Mm -hmm. And then um, my parents, friends, supporters, haters, you know, the, the natural rapper answer to that question. So you have haters? I don't know. God, it just sounded like the right thing to say. I mean, I feel everybody has haters, you know. Everybody hates. Every, people always hate when you're doing what, what you want to do. So. Mm -hmm. so I don't know them personally, but I'm pretty sure I have some. Well, that's a good answer. Yeah. And now we have a word from our sponsors. Every year, one million families face losing their homes to foreclosure. If you're ignoring your mortgage issues, things will only get worse. Call 1-888-995-HOPE because nothing is worse than doing nothing. I got no pulse for losing him. Is he being fed? I'm shocking. I was at road all the time. I just had a few drinks. This can't be happening. Are we clear? Clear. You just buzzed. Just buzzed? You didn't tell us that, sir. 
You're right, this isn't happening. You'll be fine. Eh, I feel good. Really? No, not really. Buzz driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Shock him. Thank you for joining us again. I'm Raven Mackey for UWG Unscripted. And today we have Garrett Bell. So Garrett, we were talking about your music before the break. And um, now we're going to talk about your school life here at UWG. Which class has helped you the most? Ooh. Ooh. Um, I feel like all my upper level, upper, upper level courses help me out the most because that's like hands-on experience mm -hmm. on what I'm trying to do after I graduate. So those have been the most valuable. Actually, every, now that I think about it, every class, every class is, is valuable. And like, I didn't see that until I got to where I am now. Like English 1101, English 1102, Spanish, all of those are going to probably come in handy in the future now mm -hmm. that I think about it. Even um, classes like oceanography, classes like that, those, like, did you know that a, um, a dolphin is a small whale? I didn't. See? That's a great conversation starter with a CEO in the future or something like that. So. And I've heard about your new position for UTV 13. What is it? At UTV 13. So I collect b-roll which is footage let's say there's a news story and you need like the footage explaining what's happening in the story like let's say there's like a robbery mm -hmm. you need that footage showing where the robbery was at I go out and get those and then I write for the story sometimes I even do a little reporting on the side too so okay yeah and how long have you been working for UTV 13 Ooh, um, probably two semesters now this is my second semester working at UTV 13 I started working at UTV 13 the semester before mm -hmm. this semester and I'm gonna be working here next semester too so your last semester yes oh my last semester here I but it's a good it's, it's a happy thing because you know I'm graduating and I could take everything that I learned here to the I have one more question for you what are your plans after college ooh that's a big question um actually my plan what I'm gonna do uh -huh. after um, college is I'm gonna try to work at an internship I'm going to get an internship, and then hopefully that internship will turn into a job. I don't know if it's going to be at a TV station, a radio station, something of that nature. But um, I'm going to try to work my way up in ranks as far as communication is concerned. So I want to work at a, maybe a local television station and then get to a higher television station. And then mm -hmm. I want to go over to news, like paper, newspaper, and then go over to radio for a little while. Like I want to do everything as far as communication is concerned because when it's all said and done, I want to have my own production company. And you can't have your own production company if you don't know all the aspects of production. True. So I'm, I'm trying to do everything as that I can while I'm still able to. And then when I get old, I'll have my own production company and then everyone can come to my production company and do what I'm trying to do now. So I'm trying to give back to the people. So that's, that's good. Well, thank you, Garrett, for joining us today. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in to UWG Unscripted. I'm Raven Mackey. And if you want to get more information on Garrett Bell, follow him on Twitter at g.bell. Thank you.